Okay, so with these sort of statements here, we need to just find some examples, right? So do a few to show whether it's sort of true, whether it sort of always works or or false. Okay, you know, if we find an example where it doesn't work, then we we know it's false. Okay, so we only need one example then. Okay, but if it keeps coming true, we'll try a few and then we'll realize then it is true. So let's look at this here. A squared plus B squared is always an even number when A and B are whole numbers. So let's take, for instance, um, an example then. Let's just, let's just set A to be 2 and say B to be, I don't know, 4. Okay. Well, let's work out what A squared plus B squared is here. Well, we'll have 2 squared plus 4 squared. Okay. Now, 2 squared is 4. Because it's 2 times 2, isn't it? And 4 squared is 4 times 4, which is 16, which comes out to be 20. So it's saying always an even number. Well, that certainly is an even number, isn't it? Okay. So we might be thinking, now it's true. Okay. However, you, you know, I just tested it for one case there. We really need to try a few cases. Okay. And notice there as well, I made A and B both even. Okay. Well, let's do an example where maybe A is. Um, even so we'll stick with two again but let's let's make b odd let's make b to be three so let's see what we get here well a is two so two squared plus then b squared so three squared so if we work that out well two squared is four and three squared three times three is nine and when i add these i get 13 and you've got to ask yourself then is that even well no actually this is odd and the statement's saying it's always an even number well, in this case, it's odd, so it's not always an even number. So this statement is false. We found an example where it doesn't work. Here then it says a squared times b squared. Okay, so these are stuck together, so we're actually timesing these. It's saying it's always an odd number when a and b are odd numbers. Okay, so a and b are odd numbers. Let's just try um, a to be 1, b to be 3. They are odd numbers. So 1 squared for a, <coughs> a squared times then b squared, so that'll be 3 squared. So if I work that out, well, one, 1 squared is 1, 3 squared is 9, times them, and I get 9. Well, that's, yeah, that's odd, odd isn't it? So let's try then another type. Um, so let's say a is um, 3, and let's do b to be 5, okay? So it'll be 3 squared if a is 3, times then 5 squared if if b is 5. So work that out. Well, 3 squared is 9. 5 squared is 25. Okay. So you've got to do 9 times 25. So if you've got in your multiples of 25, we'll get um, 225. Well, that's odd, isn't it? So, you know, in this case, now it's looking like this is always going to be true. Okay. And you could try another type if you wanted to. You know, you could even do Let's make it a bit easier. A is 1, B is 5. Let's do that. So 1 squared then for, for A squared times 5 squared for B squared. And that comes out to be 1 times 25, which is 25. That's odd. So obviously then we can see that's always going to be true. Okay.